Yeah, um, so it is right around 9.45 p.m. on Wednesday, February 9th. And about an hour and a half ago, I just tried to use a toilet in my bathroom for the first time in over a day. I'm actually afraid of using that toilet because every time I do, the resident of 78, who is a verifiable sex offender and psychopath, engages in very aggressive smacking, hitting, or other agitation of the wall behind my toilet as I am trying to use it. And I have done everything I can to cover the area around my toilet so that whatever might be there that allows her to have knowledge of what I do when I'm in my bathroom is covered up and it keeps happening. So I have to start thinking outside the box and realize that there is probably something on the inside of the toilet that can't be covered up that allows her to be able to either hear or see what I'm doing when I'm on my toilet. And the supporting evidence of that is that every single time I do try to use a toilet in my bathroom, other people around also get really aggressive and agitated, specifically the resident of 76 and also somebody down the hall in either 86 or 87, they start repeatedly slamming doors um, as soon as I physically sit on my toilet. And occasionally the sex offender directly across the street starts screaming at me that he can, that he's seen my ass or he's seen my naked ass or something like that directly across in my windows when I emerge from my bathroom. So, and he makes these creepy whistling noises, just disgusting and creepy. Just these, these sick noises that indicate, you know, yeah, the, the kind that guys do when they've seen somebody naked. Um, It's not normal whistling. It's creepy, perverted whistling. Um, So I do think that there's something on the inside of my toilet um, that causes people to be able to see or hear what I do when I'm on that toilet. And it keeps happening. I mean, it happened just now, 8.30 p.m. um, after 24 hours of not using my toilet because I was really just kind of trying not to. Interestingly enough, my toilet backed up this afternoon with somebody else's sewage. It was sewage that was not coming from my bathroom because there was no sewage in my toilet when I was trying to use it at the time. And I had flushed it successfully before with nothing in it just to make sure it was working. So the resident of 78 is a career criminal psychopath sex offender. And that's all true. I'm not being defamatory here. This is verifiable stuff who seems to be able to tamper with plumbing and pipes. And she keeps obviously somehow blocking my toilet with other people's sewage Um, and I'm going to go on a limb here and say that it's possible if she's able to send sewage from her bathroom into mine into my toilet that she's also sending other stuff in with the sewage I mean I'm just wildly guessing here maybe she's sending some type of surveillance device into my toilet along with the sewage that she's sending into my toilet I mean if my toilet can back up with sewage from somebody else's toilet which it is because that's not my shit literally then she could be you know sticking stuff into that sewage that somehow ends up in my toilet and doesn't get flushed out somehow it sticks to the uh, covering of my toilet which is tinfoil so maybe it's a magnetized type of situation we've got going on here it's it's a crazy theory but a lot of scientists have to go on a limb with existing evidence in front of them and sort of start hypothesizing based on what they've experienced or what they're observing. So that's what I'm doing right now. I mean, I could be way off base. It is kind of outlandish, but also these days, stuff that didn't seem possible, you know, 10 or 15 years ago is happening right now, technologically, but also socially and everything else. So who knows? But all I know is that no matter how much I try to cover the area around my toilet, I keep getting aggressively harassed by the resident of 78 um, every single time I physically sit on that toilet, regardless of the time of day or day of the week. And she literally smacks the wall. She likes to let me know. I mean, she's not trying to be subtle. She's trying to let me know that she knows what I'm doing in my bathroom. That's the power trip that this psychopath is on. That is what gets her psychosis going, is being able to see what people do in the privacy of their own living space. Uh, She's got some kind of issue with that.